you know that for every 100 Salvadorian children, 79 are born in inhumane living conditions without access to quality health care. These children often grow up in homes with dirt floors and tin roofs without running water or indoor plumbing. Poor health conditions are rampant and can be attributed to poverty, poor infrastructure, natural disasters, and lack of health care resources. Health services are not readily accessible to a majority of the population. In the more isolated regions of El Salvador, there are almost no physicians. In fact, in rural El Salvador, there are only four doctors for every 100,000 residents, or one doctor for every 25,000 people, according to Social Security physician Benjamin Coelho. What is even more shocking about this is that approximately 60% of the population live in urban areas. This means that over half of the country is not able to get access to health care. In El Salvador, the quality of and access to health care are directly tied to income levels. Adequate health care is available to those able to pay the high cost. Health care for the urban and rural poor is limited. The health sector of El Salvador consists of three different subdivisions. The subdivisions are the public sector, social security, and the private sector. The public sector of El Salvador consists of the Ministry of Public Health and Social Welfare, the Military Health and the Teaching Welfare. The Social Security Division of the Health Sector is made up of the Institute of Social Security and Armed Force and Salvadorian Institute of Social Security. And the third division of the health sector, that is the private sector, consists of the charitable and profit-oriented medical facilities of the country. The government-run clinics usually lack adequate personnel, equipment, and medicines. This is a big ordeal because ultimately the lack of equipment and medicine can determine the life and death situation of a patient. Aid has been sent out from companies such as the Millennium Challenge Corporation or the MCC, signed and funded by the U.S. in 2006, which contributed $461 million to the country. However, in third world countries such as El Salvador, as much as 89% of healthcare spending is lost to corruption. This needs to come to a stop. Organizations such as the Center for the Complete Development of Children and Their Families and Hope International Series Incorporated have taken action into their own hands and have begun to send out mission trips to El Salvador to help those in rural communities. These organizations provide the people with food, water, and shelter. They also provide the people with common medication such as aspirin and vaccines. The biggest difference in medical care between El Salvador and the U.S. is the fact that they don't have access to quality equipment, facilities, or medications that we do here in the States. We have the power to volunteer, donate, but most importantly, stress the importance of this issue on a national and even global level. It may not change quickly, it may take months, maybe years, but every great movement began with small steps.